This is lesson one. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at who or what exactly Satoshi Nakamoto is. Where did they come from? And how did they come to invent Bitcoin? Let's begin. The short answer to the question, who is Satoshi Nakamoto, is we don't actually know. Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin with a very precise and very tactical approach to anonymity. The long answer is it is quite possibly a small team working with an intelligence agency which consists of a computer programmer, cryptologist, and an economist. It's quite likely that Satoshi Nakamoto is not one person but a group of people because often they reference their own work as we rather than I. And furthermore, they listed their identity to be a 30-year-old working from Japan, but their language and their dialect seemed distinctly English and it was actually quite excellent grammatically, which leads us to believe that the name Satoshi Nakamoto was a pseudonym. Now people often say, does it even matter who invented Bitcoin? Does it matter who Satoshi Nakamoto is? And my answer is absolutely it does matter who invented Bitcoin. Even though that Bitcoin protocol is open source software, it does not mean its creator is irrelevant. And this is because the wallets that the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, holds comprise roughly 5.5% of the total Bitcoin which will ever be in circulation and about 9.3% which are available today. That 9.3% of an emerging digital economy is very, very important. Truly, the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto is important. Now, Satoshi Nakamoto did a very good job of leaving minimal evidence as we discussed, they claimed to reside in Japan, but inquiries into their identity produced no results. Their approach to Bitcoin was very businesslike and had a multidisciplinary expertise. One of the early developers on Bitcoin, Laszlo Hynek, was quoted as saying, Bitcoin was too well designed for one person to crank out, and in addition, the frequency of responses to email messages seemed like someone would read it and put it off for a couple days or a week at a time and someone else would respond to it using the same email address. Just speculation, but these are quotes from some of the early developers. Now, when we take a holistic look at who might have invented Bitcoin, there is a very small and select pool that could have possibly come up with Bitcoin. And one of the most cited names is the National Security Agency. Did the NSA create Bitcoin? Well, nobody can say for sure. But just recently, and very interestingly, a paper was uncovered that was created by the NSA in 1996, which describes an electronic money system very similar to Bitcoin. And I think it's safe to say that if somebody were to be forced to make a bet today and a wager about who invented Bitcoin, I would say it's some exclusive team within the depths of an intelligence agency, perhaps such as the NSA or perhaps another foreign agency. This brings us to the conclusion of this lesson today. If you're interested, read the NSA paper which foreshadows Bitcoin. You can find it at diginomics.com slash how to make a mint. In addition, you can also read our extended analysis into who Satoshi Nakamoto is at diginomics.com slash who is Satoshi Nakamoto. This is it for today's lesson. We'll see you in the next one.